Hello everyone and welcome back. This video will be quick. This is just a request from one of our members of the Facebook group. So he's having some issues deploying a Blazor app to Azure. So we did a video about deploying a SAP Blazor app to Linux. So we're going to use the same solution. So let's jump right to it. So we have here our Blazor server app that is just one business object customer. So let's just right click publish and we'll come back to this screen and let's make, make a new profile because before we were targeting a file system. So let's do app service. It's gonna be Windows. That's the one he's struggling with. So we're gonna create a new one and we're gonna put it here, YouTube demo blazer. And let's make a new resource group so we can delete it later. Delete. YouTube RG, same thing for the hosting plan. Perfect plan. Okay, that's pretty much it. Let's click create. It will take a second because now I have to create the app service, the hosting plan, and everything else. But after that, let's see if we are able to run our application on Azure. And if we have any issue, let's see how we can fix it. Okay, it's done. The app service is created. So let's review our uh, settings to, for the deployment. So we're going to do self contain. We're going to do 64 single file, remove additional files. Right now there is nothing, but we have to be republishing. And that's it. Let's click publish. And now it's going to take a little bit because you have to upload every file on the application, but it shouldn't take that long. Let's see. It. Okay, here we go. And we have this error. So it's 500.38, and so let's go to this link to feature that error. So 500.38. So right here, it's telling us that when we are packaging our application as a single file executable, we can have that error. So the way to fix it is disable the fully single file or using an out of process hosting model. So let's come back to our application. Yes. And let's edit our project file. And let's uncomment that. So pretty much we add this ASP.NET Core hosting model and we use out of process. I will add a link on the description of the video describing what is the difference between in process and out of process, but uh, in a nutshell, the in-process redirects the traffic to the IIS HTTP server and the out-of-process it goes to Kestrel. So let's come back to our publish. Now that we have that, uh, actually, let's just rebuild it and then publish it again. Okay, rebuild. Let's now publish and let's see. It's coming, it's looking good. And 
that's it. We have deployed our SAF Blazor application to Azure. Let's create a new customer. Pretty neat, right? Well, that's all for this video and see you guys in the next one.